Hello, this is Miss Paco again, and I'm going to show you the third part of sewing a simple bag. We have already sewn together the two pieces of fabric and also zigzagged the edges so that it doesn't fray. Now we are going to sew this hem on the top of the bag and we are going to add some handles, okay? To sew the hem, we need to go and sew all the way round. Right. Now it comes really useful that we folded the, and ironed down the, the edges before we started sewing because now it's super easy to just fold it down again along the lines and put in a pin. That's easy. I would like you to pay attention to what we do at the seams. So here we have this seam. We need to flatten it out and then fold the same way as if it wasn't there, just like that. Okay, so make sure you do it there over the seams as well as in the middle, all the way around. I put in a pin here, the other side. I put one pin in the middle and one on the sides. If you want to put in more, you are welcome to. And this is enough. Again, I get to the other seam, flatten it down, fold, and fold. Can you see that? So the seam is flattened down and folded, and then I pin. Now we are going to sew this round. How can we do that on the machine, right? The easiest way is this. In the back of the machine, we have this box, which is usually contains all kinds of extra press of it and different tools and when we take it off then we have something that is called the free arm of the machine and that means there is place under it and we can actually put our bag on it like this and this way we can just turn it round and round okay I usually like to start at one of the seams I put the press of it down and we are going to sew on this edge of the fold, okay? As close to the edge as you can go. One or two millimeters, hopefully, okay? And again, because we folded one centimeter here, if you put your edge, fabric edge on the one centimeter line, I have to need to just a little bit, it's supposed to be okay. But if it's not exact, no problem. And then we are just sewing. And actually, you don't have to do the back stitch at the beginning because we are going to come back to the same place. And then we do the back stitch. You can if you want, but you don't have to. I would recommend you go slowly. I just don't want you to watch me sewing for longer than necessary. Now, when we come to this part where we are sewing over the seams, it might be difficult because it's much thicker than the rest. So sometimes I pull from the back just a very little, don't pull hard because you might break the needle. Just pull a little to help it over very gently. coming back to where I started and I'm going to go and sew over the first stitches here and do back stitch and then it means both ends will be fastened. Back stitch. Ready. Press the foot up, pull out the fabric and cut the threads here. So I will go back and cut off the small pieces and from the front. And now we can turn our bag inside out. So 
this is how it looks now. Nice bag. And with a nice hem in the top. So we don't have any raw edge, any cut edge of the bag, of the fabric that could fray. Because here we hemmed and here we zigzagged. Okay. And now we take the handles. I have two pieces of this very strong handles. Mine are 58 centimeter long. You can try and measure how long you want yours and change this number. You can cut them as long or as short as you want. And because this frays very much, first thing I'm going to sew zigzag on the edges and I will show two, I will sew two, three times so it gets really well fastened. So back to the sewing machine. Again, I'm using stitch number five and I'm just zigzagging the ends. Now I go back and forward again. And a little bit stitch here. ready and then I'm not going to do it on camera I am going to sew all the four ends two handles two ends each okay so the next thing we put the handles on the bag this is how we do it I will pull it down a little bit so you see better so I take my handle piece like that and put it down so and make sure it's not twisted and then I measure let me get the ruler I measure how far I want it it's good if you have a a width about your hand in the middle and then I will measure here I would say eight centimeters from this side there and pin it there and eight centimeters from the other side is this wide enough maybe maybe seven i would change it to seven actually and then the ruler also helps me oops you can't see what i'm doing sorry guys the ruler also helps me to make sure they are on the same level here so seven centimeters so i need to move the other one one centimeter to the right so okay I, and you will do the, you turn it around and you will do the same on this side and make sure they are in the same place <coughs> you don't need to measure now you can just put them in exactly in the same place and pin I will show you how to sew this on one piece only and then obviously you will have to do the same thing on all four so we change the machine back to straight stitch make sure i only sew on one piece of fabric so i'm not sewing together the, the two pieces of the bag and i put the I put the whole bag on the free arm again like this make sure the handle piece is straight okay put the thread to the back and hold it so i'm going to start sewing right at the edge of the sorry press the foot down right at the edge of the bag fabric, very close, back stitch, go back, and sew to this corner, put the needle down, lift the presser foot, turn. And now I'm sewing downwards to this corner. This is the edge of the area zigzagged. 
actually it would be even better if we could fold in this edge but this material that we have for the handles it's so thick that it's actually super difficult to sew when it's folded set it up and turn and every time I turn I always double check that I don't have the other piece of the bag under my presser foot so easy to sew things together now I'm back at the point where I started so I, we made a square and now I'm turning my fabric again and I'm going to sew to this opposite corner so we are going to make an X inside that square we are done we go across at the bottom again which is actually quite good to strengthen that seam we are done and now we sew an X again to the other corner I know it's quite difficult to sew. I'm using white thread because normally we use a thread that matches the fabric. And because we have, wait a minute, let me move it away. Because we have white and blue in this fabric, I, I decided to use white, but you can't really see well what I have been doing here. So let me show you closer. Can you see that? So I made a, I made a square and an X. So this is going to be quite good and strong handle. And you need to do this with all the four ends. First zigzag the ends and then sew them on like that. All right, good luck. See you soon. Bye bye.